And you're good. Okay, my name is Nick Hoffman. I taught uh, I've 39 years in science, uh, three in Colorado, 34 in the Wallace School District, and I'm doing uh, teaching IDLA uh, science online right now. Um, I've been through, in the state of Idaho, I think three sets of science standards. Uh, these are by far the most in-depth that we've dealt with, and I'm, I'm happy that the legislature looked at that and realized how important these are. Uh, I'm, my concern, I guess, in a couple of places is that the standards that were, at, were asked to be removed are worded just a little bit differently earlier than they weren't asked to be removed. Um, in the ecosystem dynamics, functioning, and resilience section, uh, it says in there, uh, anthropogenic changes, including human activity, including habitat destruction, pollution, uh, can disrupt an ecosystem and threaten to survive the survival of species. And then two paragraphs later, you guys removed that same statement. So I don't understand the, uh, I, I guess I don't understand the, the part of that. What the consistency to me and the ones you wanted removed all seem like they say the word human. And um, the research is unboundless in, in, the, in the fact that human impact is important. Now, I, I do think it's important to, if we have something about improving the environment. I think that's a good thing to add. I don't know that it needs to be written in here necessarily because I don't see these standards as saying something in a negative way. What it's saying is what is based on research. And um, when I taught my, because I, I apologize, I didn't get to vote for any of you guys. I'm from the Silver Valley. so. Um, but what I can tell you is that when I taught our natural resources unit, mine was heavily into mining and logging and forestry, and I didn't care if there was a controversy. I had students in my class whose fathers and mothers are miners, and we talked about the negative impact of the mining, but we also talked about mine reclamation and re reclaiming the environment. So um, I don't have an issue with the, these if you wanted to redo the wording, and I understand procedurally that you had to pull the whole thing that you guys don't get to line edit. That's the department's job. Um, but it just seems like these don't seem to be arbitrary removals. They seem to be very specific, politically sensitive removals. And we had this same discussion 15 years ago when the State Department came up here and talked about evolution. We had the exact same fights. And, um, you know, it's, it's not that climate change is undeniable. Um, you can deny anything. There's people that think the world's still flat, but it doesn't make it right, and it doesn't make it true. And um, it just seems like you're denying something that scientifically I would want my students to argue about. Yeah. You know, and when I set up my units in my biology class for IDLA, I have a writing assignment in there that says, do you agree or disagree with this and explain why? Because one thing, I, I hate Common Core, I'll tell you, but one thing I do like is that they ask students to write scientifically. And I make my students do that because I expect them to be able to support an argument one way or the other. And I don't think any wording difference on these standards disallows us the chance to do that. A good, teach, good science teacher is going to look at that standard and teach information and let students come up with their opinions and they'll illustrate those in whatever way the teacher asks them to do that. And I would never grade a student down because they say I disagree with climate change. But I'd want them to support it because that's what I'm supposed to be teaching as an educator. Because the people that are going to be voting in the next couple of elections have to understand the question and be able to come up with a logical answer for their opinion. So I... I don't think these need to be rewritten personally. I don't think you need to add those other pieces. I think a good educator can do that. And I think you guys have to trust those of us in this room that are teachers. You have to trust that we know how to do that and how to bring that out of our students. So. Thank you.